Perfect. So this is what we gotta do. San Diego. <laughs> oh How God. now, brown cow? How <laughs> now, brown cow? So, I'll this work. is the first episode in reality, because really, the last one didn't count. The other one, maybe someday. Someday it'll be released and it'll be like, special footage. Yeah, like... Special edition when they were just young youngster little babies. And everyone will be like, wow, I can't hear anything. It's just fuzzy. <laughs> it's just pure <laughs> fuzz. So we figured that out pretty quickly from the help of my good friend, Aaron, who is a doll. And shout hopefully, out. Shout out to Aaron. <laughs> He'll be a guest someday. Uh, so this year, introducing the podcast, which is step one to a podcast. And we have this cute little paper of our little <laughs> our outline. Yeah, we have an outline. I told you to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I shut my phone off and here we it's go. Still, no, my I'm notes kidding. are on here. <laughs> um, so this is The Sense. I'm Krista. I'm Alex. And welcome to the episode, the new podcast, new, specially made for you, uh, with prepared content that is very professional. And every week or every week, we're going to do a different topic and it's just random topics yep. about subjects that we want to know and do we already say what the topic was this week we haven't because we have to do now okay so the next step uh how Ooh. how are you i think that's like the how are you corner Where that we, is mm-hmm. i'm sorry i went off the outline already this is why it needs to be framed. already a failure okay. <laughs> <Just give> me <laughs> <a break. laughs> okay we're gonna frame it so we don't forget but uh yeah Krista, how, yeah how are you i'm great i had a really rough week actually i'm not great at all no. uh, if it's been, <laughs> it's been really actually. difficult i think uh like you know financially and like in my home life everything's good my job is great mm-hmm. but uh romantically and emotionally i'm kind of a train wreck but that's okay it doesn't really matter really right yeah. No. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, uh, about that. No, I'm kidding. No, it does matter. It's like, it's kind of who important. you are as a person. Yeah. I know. But it'll get figured out. I feel, mm, I don't it's know. It's fine. I worked a lot this week, so, you know, that's hard. But I did it, and I got through it, and I'll be making extra money, which is cool. Whoop, whoop. At, you know, just the price of my sanity. That's fine. <laughs> I don't need that. Sell your sanity. Mm-hmm. And Alex, how are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> um, going away this weekend, going a little wine tasting and last minute packing. Huh? Stop clicking your pen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, gonna go wine tasting in Walla Walla, Washington. The Walla Walla, Washington, Walla Squared. Walla Squared. And every time I say Walla Walla, Washington, I think of Looney Tunes. Mm-hmm. And that there was a Daffy Duck one where he went. To, he was a traveling salesman, and he went to Walla Walla, yeah, Washington. I remember that. I don't really remember any more than that. But besides that, he was a traveling salesman. I just remember them saying Walla Walla, Washington a lot. Yeah, and I was like, I live by there. <laughs> and now I'm going. It's there. like the new Napa, California. Oh. Yeah, exactly like Napa, California. Kind of. <laughs> There's nice wine. Washington is known for their delicious wine and beer. and that's, You should come and check it out. You really should. We're not sponsored yet, but no, soon. But no, Walla Walla, Washington. Sponsored by Washington State. <laughs> That'd be so amazing. <laughs> that would be really cool, actually. I love our state. Yeah, I do too. So I think that's good. And now we can talk about the topic of the day. Which is the most random thing we both could think of. Alex picked it out. It is snakes. Snakes. I. <laughs> so growing up, I've kind of had this fear that I didn't realize was so ingrained in me. It. I can never remember the rhyme of what colors are to touch and not to touch on a snake. Like, I knew something about red, black, and yellow, but it just gets so mixed up in my mind, and I'm like, oh my god, there's gonna come a time in my life where the snake comes up to me, and I'm gonna be like, black and red, don't touch, I I can't even rhyme, I'm not a rhymer, I'm gonna be so screwed, I'm 20, almost 28 years old now, and thankfully this has not been a problem. (laughs) I mean, luckily, in today's 
culture and society, snakes aren't the biggest problem you run into every day. But uh, I mean, they exist. There's snakes out there. There's probably snakes outside right now. I don't. I don't know where. Or they might be sleeping. I don't know. Um, but that was my big motivation yeah. for doing this topic. Was I can't remember that rhyme to save my life. But what is it actually? Well, I'm glad you asked. I never <laughs> I hear my notes. So coral snake is what it's referring to, and it's red touches black, safe for Jack. Or that's like is Jack a person? Oh, okay, um, sorry. I have ha- you have your little they're, X they're, and they're, check mark backwards. Yeah, I'm for sure gonna die, you guys, <laughs> if I ever see a coral snake. <laughs> it's like one of my secret fears in the back of my mind. Like we're all scared of quicksand, but when is there ever quicksand? Right. <laughs> like- I, I like. Ugh. Yeah, that plagued me as a child. Like, okay, I gotta remember, don't struggle. Just slowly (laughs) move out of the quicksand. Thanks, Johnny Quest. Right? What an asshole. (laughs) Like, he made our fear of snakes. No, no, quicksand. Like, something that you're just gonna run into. Like, walking down the street. Like, oh no, quicksand. No! Yeah, there are also no snakes on the street, so. Well, okay, so folks, I have got this mixed up. (laughs) Red touches black, safe for Jack. So, that's the good one. What's not good, well, Jack is like any regular Joe, I'm guessing. Stupid. I know, it is. This is why I didn't remember this shit. (laughs) Okay, and what's not good is red touches yellow. Kill a fellow. Do you have that list of all the other weird, like, rhymes people did with, like... No, because it started to, like, confuse me. Like, I was going to write them all down and be like, oh, I'm going to say all these on the podcast. And then I was like... (laughs) Uh no, I'm gonna look up cool rattlesnakes and stuff. Like it so. was like yeah, it was like red and wait, no, exactly. Black and red means you're dead. Yellow and red also I think means I also you're started fine. making them up because mm-hmm. I was just like saying colors and what rhymed and stuff mm-hmm. and then I was like, wait, now I'm confused. Yep. Okay. Well, but going back to rattlesnakes. Yeah, tell me about A fun those. fact the is... The thing you might actually run into around here. Yeah. Okay, so I guess rattlesnakes are all over the United States. I thought it was just, I don't know, Washington, and like Nevada. Texas. Texas, like deserty areas. <laughs> well, we're in eastern Washington, so that's mm-hmm. why they're here. It's De- deserty up here. Yeah. But my fun fact about rattlesnakes is a group of rattlesnakes is called a Roomba. Like those cute little vacuums that go around your house. Yeah, it's also so a bunch it's of little rattlesnakes. <laughs> it's just a clan of rattlesnakes. It's How can you be scared of these deathly little snakes when they're coming at you in a group of a Roomba? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that Roomba of rattlers. <laughs> I love weird names for groups of things. Like, <laughs> I can't think of any right now. But I think I a group about. of monkeys is called a forum or something. Or like a group of apes. It's a, for- oh, a no. forum. No, not that forum of apes. <laughs> There's, <laughs> There's a whole forum of them. I just think it's funny because a forum is like a group of people together discussing something. Like we're yeah. just a bunch of apes sitting together discussing things in a forum. They all like this group of apes and they like look over and they all have the glasses on. Yeah, and exactly. Like, That's what I Did think. you need something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone pause. Excuse me. <laughs> Can we help you other t- taller naked ape? <laughs> Yeah. Why would you be naked in front of all the apes? No, no, no. they think we're oh. naked because you don't have hair. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I was hair. like, I got a really weird picture in my head. Like, wait, why are you naked in <laughs> this scenario? All of a sudden, I'm naked in it. <laughs> it's fine. Just because I would want to be in the jungle. So, also with the coral snakes, back to those. What they get confused with, like the whole reason they have the rhymes, is because they're confused with scarlet king snakes, which are non-venomous and you don't have to be... Worried about. I guess their bite does hurt if you get bit, but don't gotta be worried about dying. Mm-hmm. So I also made a list, and I've got like little. I love your little keys. boxes. And I know, yeah. and so that I could be like, oh, this is what compares to this. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna compare scarlet king snake to venomous coral snakes. Mm-hmm. So on a Scarlet king snake, the tail color does not change, whereas in the coral snake, the tail only has black and yellow, no red. 
And those are the ones that are feminists. Yes. Coral, coral snakes, snakes are going to kill you. That's me. Dead for show. Sure. Also, <clears throat> this is what would help me on deciding which one was poisonous and not poisonous. Uh, the non-venomous king snake has a mostly red head with a short, oh, with a long snout. So, like, a longer head. Whereas the coral snake has a yellow and black head with a short snout. So, shorter head. Short head will kill you. Long head. You're cool, man. I think it has something to do with the fangs. And, like, how, where the venom sits in their mouth has something to do with the head shape. I think I ran across that while I was reading about snakes. Makes sense, but I don't have it in my notes. Yeah, I don't know either. Also, the non-venomous king snake, they love to climb trees. Like, you'll usually see them in trees. Whereas, you'll rarely see the venomous coral snakes climbing any trees. You will every once in a while. That's why you should probably remember the rhyme or shit. <laughs> I think the head is the most distinguished thing. Where Absolutely. I'm gonna remember. Um... Also, king snakes are all really active during the night, whereas coral snakes are all over the place. Um, they just wake up and go to sleep whenever they want. Yeah, they're just. I wonder how snakes venomous sleep. and all over the place, being bastards. Fucking dicks. Um, also, this is at the bottom of my little list. These rules only apply to snakes in the U.S. Patterning is different in other areas of the world. So only rhyme when you're in the States. Oh. So don't, like, if you're, I don't know, so, in South America, don't be like, no. oh, it's cool. I remember this rhyme. Actually, no <laughs> one's going to remember it because I did it all backwards in the beginning. But <laughs> yeah. if you do happen to remember this rhyme, it only works here in the States. Right. So if you're traveling abroad, the rules don't apply to you or the snakes around you. <laughs> They watch, will still kill you. <laughs> yeah. Even if it looks friendly to you based on the snakes you met in the United States, they're not going to be friendly to you. Ooh, tell them about what's the difference between venomous and poisonous. Oh, so one of the first things I thought of when I thought about snakes was the misnomer of people saying snakes are poisonous. Snakes are poisonous doesn't make any sense because poisonous is when you eat it you consume it and you die or you get ill because uh, poison, I have it in my notes. Read it because I kind of forgot. I also <laughs> forgot. Okay. People often use the term poisonous when talking about snakes. However, poison works by getting eaten, inhaled, or absorbed through the skin. So snakes are not poisonous. Uh, you can eat a poisonous snake. You can but... Yeah, absolutely. You're not going to, unless you eat the Venom snack, I guess. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna have me some venom sna snack. <laughs> venom snack. Coming that makes to me store. <laughs> it's a store near you. But okay, but sponsored by Venom Snacks. <laughs> <Venom> snacks. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> okay, but snakes are venomous, which means their toxin is injected into its target by fangs. So other things that are venomous are uh, scorpions. As a venomous, they have venom. Spiders, they they bite you. They <laughs> with they put venom in your body. Spiders are so creepy. Maybe we should do an episode oh. on spiders. Ooh. Oh <laughs> hell yeah! I'm just creeped out thinking about that. <laughs> I love spiders. I saw an orb weaver at work the other day. What's an Did orb? Did you see that? No. What? They're like this big. It's like a quarter size, and they make giant, beautiful webs. Like when you think of like a classical like spider web, and mm -hmm. it's like got. Like, you know, those circles and inter like they're interlocking. That's like Charlotte's Web style. Oh, like Charlotte's Web style. Yeah, that's an orb weaver. Oh. And it was beautiful. Like, I loved it. And it was at work in, like, the rafters. And it was just sitting there hanging out. And I named it Francois. Ooh, Francois. And <laughs> <laughs> but everyone at work wanted it murdered. And I was like, no, please, just leave it alone. This is my new best friend, Francois. <laughs> yeah, don't I touch Francois. <laughs> So yeah, that was my uh, spider friend at work, Francois. Also at my house, if I ever see a spider, I don't kill it. I just let it be. But then my roommate finds it and murders it and I feel bad. And I'm like, I'm so sorry that you trusted me. You trusted living in here. And, <laughs> and you're then, dead. And now you're dead. It's all my fault. I should have warned you. <laughs> so the other giant creature in this house will kill you. Watch yourself, spider. Yeah. Francois number two. Oh, 
they're all Francois. <laughs> what else do you got about snakes? You well, some pretty fun fact. fact. Fun fact number two. Oh, they're all fun. Snakes used in snake charming. You know, when you see the, like, the... Na, 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 <laughs> and they, like, come out of the basket or whatnot. Snakes used in snake charming performances respond to the movement of the snake charmer, not the sound of the flute. Oh. So they're just watching the guy play the flute. They're not like, wow, this is some good jams. There's, yeah. There's a myth I ran into about sna- snakes being deaf. They actually hear very well. They just hear it differently than we do. I kind of read something like that, too, because they're, they hear inside their head, mm-hmm. not externally. Yes, exactly. Weird. Fun fact. Um, do you have something else? Oh, yeah. Or- I wanted to talk about snakes in ancient Egypt. Ooh, um, yeah. So they were revered. They were revered, uh, as in, like, respected and... Uh, worshipped and also feared so there were many gods many snake gods and they were either good or evil um in the book of the dead which is the book you bring down into the underworld so you can make your way through it there was a spell called spell 39 uh it was used to repel an evil snake of the underworld and it goes like this and i love it (laughs) get back crawl away get away from me you snake Go, be drowned in the lake of the abyss at the place where your father commanded that the slaying of you should be carried out. I'm going to have that on my tombstone. Dude, I'm going to say <laughs> that to all the bitches at work. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> Crawl away. Crawl away. <laughs> you snake. <laughs> you snake. So while you're in the underworld, you use that spell to repel snakes. But, you know, when you're above world, the Wajet was the patron goddess of the upper Egypt or of upper Egypt and was represented as a cobra with a spread hood or a cobra headed woman. Ooh. She became one of the protective emblems on the for- Pharaoh's crown once Upper and Lower Egypt were united. She was said to spit fire at the Pharaoh's enemies and the enemies of Ra, sometimes revered or referred to as one of the eyes as Ra, and she was associated with the lioness goddess Sakmet. So snakes, they kind of had this dual role. And I think this is probably true with other religions because you can imagine Christianity, you know, where the snake stands on that one. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows that guy. <laughs> um, but in Egypt, they were highly respected and was a symbol of strength. So I thought that was pretty neat. That is cool. And then we go about snake biting. So can you talk about why your dad had your snake venom kits? At okay. Home? So yeah. He always told me the rhyme about coral snakes, so that freaked me out for, like, a long time. And then, I thought it was just, like, normal. Like, everybody's family had, like, five to six, um, snake venom, what is it called? What are they called? Like, extractors? Uh, Yeah, snake venom extractors. So, if you've never seen one of these, it's, like, it kind of looks like a syringe, but, like, it has, like, a suction cup thing. And so you, I guess what you do, I read it, but I never, thankfully, had to use one. Snake bites you, you put the suction cup over the bite, and you syringe up to pull the venom out. I thought everyone's family had this, and then when me and Krista were talking about this topic, I was like, yeah, you know, like, how you have the syringe, or, like, the snake venom extractors, and she's like... That never existed in my home. (laughs) And we came from the same place. Yeah, the same exact town, and I'm like, (laughs) oh, we had one in, like, every bedroom. (laughs) That's, like, such a weird paranoia your family had. Like... Make sure there are snake uh, venom extractors everywhere in case all the snakes come into our house. Like, no one is afraid of we that. We did live out in the house. country, so I mean, like, rattlesnakes are a thing, but I had not that many. had <laughs> other friends that live out in the country, no and snake. they didn't have snake extracting kits on the ready 24-7. That's like having, like, a generator for your home. Like, four That's boxes actually... of lighters? Yeah, or, like, four boxes of lighters. <laughs> This That's is a thing. Re- I freaking knew <laughs> my, it was. My dad is a little bit of a doomsday prepper, but it's you so know, weird, weird. But you know where I'm going at the end of the world? It is his. the Gilbert residence. <laughs> <laughs> I can't disclose that location because it's all mine. you guys are gonna it's come for done. our supplies. Yeah, but speaking of Anyways, snake venom. biting and. It, extracting the venom for deadly snakes in the u.s i have a little list here it's beautiful i know 
And so the first one on the list is copperheads. They have a painful bite but pose little threat to death. But, you know, if you still get bit by one, you should seek medical attention as Absolutely. soon as possible. I have something to talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, don't just hang out and be like, it's cool. <laughs> Go to the hospital, you yeah. freaks. <laughs> um, usually copper color, obviously, as in their name, yeah. copperheads. <laughs> Um, they have a diamond head and an hourglass, black hourglasses down their body. That's kind of like the classic, Sweet. what if I think of, like, a, what a snake looks like. I think yeah, that's that what I picture. I diamond shape. Mm-hmm. Also spiders. But anyways. Yeah, it's like black widow. Oh, we're mm-hmm, so like doing an episode widows. on spiders. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> okay. I love spiders. Next on the list is coral snake. Back to this fucking rhyme they're the most toxic and then i have stupid rhyme written under that (laughs) because i can never remember it even after doing this um they're found mostly in the south and southeast of the united states copperheads are again like south deserty areas um and then next on the list is cottonmouth snakes and i was kind of like i'd I've never heard that before. Have you heard of cottonmouth snakes? I knew water moccasins. Well, yeah. So that's what they are. Mm -hmm. They're also known as water moccasins, which I've heard of those. And like, like, I don't know. I used to swim in the canals as a kid, which sounds really ghetto. But like, I was like, I thought of like snakes swimming in there. But I think it's more of a South thing, which I also read. Cottonmouth snakes are more prevalent in like Texas, Missouri, Virginia to Florida area. Mm Mm-hmm. When when these snakes are annoyed, it stands its ground. It stands its ground and gasps repeatedly. <gasps> no, I, I don't know. If I do that. that too. I picture more like a threatening gasp. When I'm really annoyed, I just gasp at you. <gasps> <laughs> Anyways, it does this gasping repeatedly and at the intruder, exposing the light cotton lining of his mouth, thus giving it the name cotton mouth. And last on the list is my favorite. Rattlesnakes, because of all those rattlesnake venom kits we had, Mm -hmm. they're found all over the United States. And there's three different types that I have written down. I don't know if there's more because I'm not an expert in snakes, but Mm -hmm. three that I had read about were the Eastern Diamondback, Western Diamondback, and the Timber Rattlesnakes. Um, I guess around here we probably have Western Diamondbacks uh, because we're in Western part of the states. And those are the ones that are popular, like, in the movies, like, when you see rattlesnakes, and I don't know, I think of, like... Oh, yeah, like a cowboy? Yeah, like... Or, like, there's a snake in my boot. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, yeah. That's so those the are the, They're, like, the movie star they're snakes. They're movie star. And, yeah, found all over the United States, so... Interesting. That's what I got. Uh, snakes. Still weird. A weird pet to have... Ugh, I hate like, when people have snakes. I mentioned to someone today, I was like, I'm doing a podcast about snakes. And she goes, anyone that owns a snake is a weirdo. Ugh, and I was like, I feel yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, like, they're not like cute, like dogs, like no. fluffy and adorable. They're just, they're mm, cool. let me feed it a mouse. Yeah, exactly. Freak. Ugh. Well, our friend from our hometown had a pet snake named Puppy. Jeff. Lackey. Oh, I didn't like he? Him. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't remember him having a snake. I don't know him super well, but I liked him. Yeah, he's cool. And yeah, I'm pretty sure, or maybe he just told me about someone else having a <laughs> snake named Puppy, but I liked that name for a snake. That makes it <laughs> makes cuter. it friendlier. Yeah. More puppy like. Mm-hmm. Puppy. So I want to talk about what to do if a snake bites you. Um, <laughs> I did go to the WikiHow website and looked at all this, and I thought the most interesting thing was that they had a to f- they felt like they had to make it known that if you are bit by a snake, <laughs> do not tase or electrocute your snake wound. Like that's somebody's first thought like, <laughs> "Oh dear god, I've been bit by a snake." <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I have my taser. Better Let shock the shit out you. of this. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe that was some kind of prevalent myth out there somewhere that was like, oh, just shock it out of you. It'll or kind of like, we have to put this on here so people, like, 
You know the lady that like microwaved her dog, and so Ooh. now like on microwaves they have to put "Do not put pets in your microwave." Oh my! I had no idea. I'm just on my Fun dog. fact number three. I'm just kidding. Nasty. <laughs> okay, yeah, but don't put your pets in a microwave. And also don't, living, and don't taste, taste your, your snake, snake bite. bite. <laughs> don't do that. Um. So. I like this thing. Uh, the first thing it says is call 911. Uh, apply a pressure immobilization bandage and keep the person calm. Avoid washing the bite because any venom left, venom left on the skin will help identify the snake. Do not apply a tourniquet. Cut the wound or attempt to suck the venom out. The key to surviving a venomous snake bite is to get an anti-venom as soon as possible. Hold on. How gangster would it be if somebody's like, I'm going to suck the venom out. And you're just like, well, I mean, like, that's really, like, it's pretty hardcore. Yeah. What if they accidentally swallowed it? Like, I I would feel so, like, touched. Like, really? You would potentially kill yourself and me. Actually, we're both going to die right now. So romantic. So nice of you. (laughs) Thank you. I just think, like, the whole point of getting, if you're bit by a snake, you want to reduce how much circulation happens in your body. Because if it is, but you don't want to reduce it down to nothing because then you'll lose a limb if all of your venom is in <laughs> one part of your body. You need it to spread out, but not too much. That's, um, that's a fine line. <laughs> yeah. Just enough for EMTs to come and hook you up with the anti-venom. Uh, let's see. Do not uh, try to suck the venom out using your oh, mouth. Oh, there yeah. goes that dream. I know. It's super romantic. <laughs> I really love the idea of... Someone snucking on a sucking on a snake wound. <laughs> it's just hot. No, it's gross. It's kind of gross. <laughs> but I mean, like the thought is oh, what counts. Yeah. <laughs> um, I get it. I get it. So, uh, transferring the venom to your mouth is dangerous because you could absorb the venom venom through the membranes of your mouth. Turns out you don't even have to swallow it. It'll just sit in your mouth. And there's and you did. Yeah. Um, and you'll transfer bacteria from your mouth into the wound, increasing the chance of infection. You nasties. Uh, let's see. This is all about how many snakes. So another thing I found interesting, um, the amount of deaths in the United States uh, from snake bites is really low. It's not nearly as what anyone would imagine. Um, It has been estimated that 7,000 to 8,000 people per year receive venomous snake bites in the United States. And about five of those people die. Five out of 8,000 people die from snake bites in the United (laughs) States. That's nobody. That's that's no one. That's a bad luck for five (laughs) people. (laughs) And everyone's like hyperly scared of snakes. Like. To a fault. You don't need to be that. I've been stressing about colors and <laughs> snakes. Like, <laughs> not only five people a year die from it? Exactly. It's nothing. Um, so, let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Man, I really should have read this. Bites from <laughs> venomous snakes are extremely rare, rare in the States. For example, only one species, the timber rattlesnake. Ooh, I read about that. Yeah. They're rarely <laughs> seen, and they're only in the southern power, part of the States. But the species is likely to be extinct in Maine. The last sighting of a timber rattlesnake in Maine was in 1901. Basically, the South is fucked yeah, on snakes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, I'd be so, so like, I'm so scared to go visit down there. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to go someday. You, yeah. You've been to the South a lot, but. I recently went to Louisiana. Exactly. Didn't see any snakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just lady snakes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a minute I was like, what do you, uh, you know, people. <laughs> Anyways. So I looked up snake deaths. Not, you know, snakes dying, but people dying of snake bites. It happens so little that every case is known. And <laughs> I like to, you know, I was noticing a pattern amongst all of these. You brought up earlier that you need to seek medical attention. Don't just hang out. Yeah. That's the reason why people die. <laughs> they just don't go to the doctor. Basically, <laughs> those five people a year are dumb as shit. Like, <laughs> so let's talk about this guy. I don't th- think I should maybe say his name. Just say his first name. Brian. Mm-hmm. His name is Brian. You'll see his name if you look up uh, 
deaths of snake bites. If you want to get real Ricky, in depth in this, you can you can look it up if you yeah. want to find out who this jackass is. But Brian <laughs> Last, died oh, in, this year. Yeah, June sixteenth, uh, likely from a cotton mouth, aka water moccasin. Yeah. Brian posted a series of videos to his Facebook page showing him holding snakes by their tails, swinging them around, and asking people to step on their heads. What an asshole. Right? I like, I know. I'm like rooting for the cop now. But exactly, yeah. He was asking for it. He was clearly intoxicated. Later, off camera, he was bit. And a video shows the aftermath with the dead snake. He refused to go to the hospital and died two days later. That's why you seek medical attention. <laughs> seek ASAP. medical attention, and also don't be intoxicated around. Don't be snakes. swinging snakes around. Don't fuck with wildlife. They're not life. a lasso. Seriously, we are not the top of the food chain. Everything out there has learned to kill <laughs> us. Like we need to remember that. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. So stupid, Brian. Now, yeah, so Brian, asshole. Now, we'll talk about Mr. David, is his name. He okay. died in 2015. Um, died from almost certainly a timber rattlesnake. He was 60 Ooh. years old. He was bitten during a religious service at a Pentecostal church in Kentucky. He refused treatment and mm. died in his brother's home. What kind of religious service involves a snake? Were they reenacting? They're in Kentucky, so it's the South again. And they get real with their religious yeah. service down there. So I don't think, like, it was... Does it say the snake was in the service? It, it, it doesn't specify I think it, like, snuck happened. in. That's what I'm picturing. But, you know... I'm picturing them reenacting <laughs> the Garden of Eden and them having a fucking snake. With the rattlesnake? <laughs> yeah. Like, they're so hardcore They're like, Kentucky. beyond Satan! And it's a snake. And he's like, excuse me? And bites them. Because <laughs> Jesus. Because also, so there's another instance where I found someone being bit during a service, too. Uh, what? Jamie, uh, 42, died in 2014 from a rattlesnake was bitten on the right hand during a service at his full gospel tabernacle church in Kentucky. After the bite, he dropped the snake, but then picked it back up and continued the ceremony. He was holding that snake during the ceremony and got bit by it. He was driven to his home. When paramedics arrived, his relatives refused medical treatment for him, saying it was inconsistent with their religion. He died at home. How? Uh, like, Jamie, come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm like this trend that I'm noticing. So anyone that is interested, don't go, refuse. Yeah, don't like, refuse. You need to go to the service. hospital if you get mm-hmm. bit by a snake. Even if you don't can't remember the colors and you're like, no, you know, maybe that wasn't poisonous. It doesn't matter what bites it's you. It's going to hurt. You <laughs> go to the hospital and you go get checked out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. So the last one I want to bring up is a lady, mm-hmm. 56-year-old Aleda. Uh, she was found dead in her home in Putnam County, New York. She illegally kept numerous venomous, steak, venomous snakes in her home, mm-hmm. one of which was oh, a my. black mamba. Oh, my. Some people suspect that her death was a suicide. I like to, like, this is obviously very unfortunate, all these people dying um, from snake bites. We have to remember that the amount of people dying from snake bites is very, very low. It doesn't happen that often, and it's usually because induced, people are being dumb. Yeah, induced by your own stupidity. Like, don't be dumb, you won't die of a snake bite. <laughs> you don't be dumb, and you won't buy this die of a snake bite. Like words to live by. No. <laughs> Forget that rhyme. Yeah, you're <laughs> bit. Go get yourself checked into a hospital. There you go. You there's fools. Your, there's your rhyme. Yeah. If I was a better rapper, I'd have something cooler for you. But just go to the hospital. Yeah, think of one for us. You know, Ooh. what's your rhyme for snake snakes? How to avoid snakes? Let us know. <gasps> what's our <laughs> email? Oh, it's the sense cast at gmail.com. Oh, so write us an email and let us know yeah. your rhymes. Yeah, we want to know. I'm going to upload this to many uh, sites, I guess, uh, platforms, you could say. We're going to be on Instagram too. So, I mean, if you want to leave us a private message. About your little rhymes. But no dick pics, please. Oh, no, at- That'll really ruin my day. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to bring it up. No, I'm glad you did. Because but- I was just like, yes, 
send us direct messages. But no. I'm just imagining someone being like, you asked to see and a it's snake. And snakes. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Yeah. I walked into that. Please. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't send don't us. show that, please. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed now. Now that's all we're going to get. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I think that concludes uh, our topic on snakes. We butchered it. We don't know anything about snakes. I'm not a I snake doctor. Don't. Like, exactly. <laughs> Not, not a snake doctor, not a snake expert. I like thinking about them. I, you know, I like them. I think they should exist on the planet. They make life interesting. <gasps> yeah, they do. Oh, oh I want, okay. What, what? So this has nothing to do with snakes in the United States, which is kind of our topic because I don't know much about snakes outside, but I used to live in Costa Rica. Oh, that's right. And they are not like scared of snakes. Like snakes weren't a big thing there. Um, But I lived there during the rainy season. It's like rainy and dry season. And there's no winter there. It's either raining or it's hot. Yeah. And even even in the rainy season, it's hot. It's just it's hot true. all year round. It's awesome. <laughs> Go to Costa Rica. Sponsored by. Just kidding. Oh, sponsored by Costa Rica. Um, I love that. Just kidding. But so they don't see a lot of snakes. There's like anacondas there. Like Shit. the huge giant snakes. But they're super slow. And they don't see them a lot because there's like a ton of jungle. So they'd rather like be away from people and in the jungle. But one day when it was like raining all day long, me and my roommate were making cookies in our oven. We lived in this like little tiny apartment. It was good good, though. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we went next door to use their oven to like cook the cookies. And my roommate like tripped and she saved the cookies. But like she was face to face with this giant ass anaconda. And she was like, ah, like jumped up. And was like, oh my god, like, it was probably like 10 feet long. And I'm like, it's just right outside our apartment. And I'm like, um, taking a picture with this. And everybody's like, what <laughs> are you doing? It's going to eat with the anaconda. Yeah. <laughs> I probably don't have it anymore because it was like on my old, old computer. And like, oh before I like was like, maybe I should save all my pictures on here. Right. So, definitely don't have a picture anymore. But I was telling my dad we were going to do this topic. He's like, oh my god, you should tell the anaconda story. And I was like... I can't believe I forgot the anaconda. I'm like oh, deathly afraid of coral snakes, but you know, an anaconda, I gotta get a selfie with that. It was super crazy. slow. It was super slow. <laughs> it's true. It wasn't like the scary movie, like where they like is trying to eat. I don't really even really remember that movie. That's a terrible movie. Don't watch it. I've <laughs> I'm never not seen it. it. I know it's trash. It was really stupid. <laughs> but anaconda was super cool and it was like super long. And it just crawled up or like slithered up this tree and was gone. And then we like told our instructors, massage instructors the next day. And they're like, wow, it's like good luck if you see a snake in the rainy season or whatever. Oh, wow. So. I wonder why. I don't know. Well, I wonder they what just they're... never see them. They're always like. They must the be jungle. like hibernating. I don't know. That makes sense because it's like rain season. Yeah. Yeah, and like snakes. Again, we're they, not snake experts, so I don't know. I do, yeah, I also don't know. Sorry for being retarded and stupid, but also not sorry because I don't care. But <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Like after you feed a snake, it needs a long period of rest for it to. Oh. Yeah, so maybe it just fed on someone else. It just and ate it like eat you. it probably ate a monkey and was like. Guys, I'm, I'm just too tired. Really tired. For this. Like, can you just make your you cookies you and get a, out of here? You know when you eat a lot and you just want to go to bed, you Food just coma. want to climb up a tree and go to sleep. <laughs> it also really amazes me how snakes climb up trees. They don't have any limbs, and they Whoa. still get in a tree and climb it. I didn't even think of that. Like, <laughs> I just accepted just it. A pure. I like, suck at climbing trees, and I have four limbs. Exactly, <laughs> and opposable thumbs. They are. I have no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually climbed a tree. Anyways, what? maybe as a kid, probably. But there were no yourself. trids. There were trid. There were no trees around me to climb. That's true. We live in the desert. We do. It's flat. There's a lot of sagebrush. Oh yeah, yeah. Dust. There's fire. <laughs> <laughs> Washington's <laughs> burning down. Washington is burning. And uh, it's like, you know, some states have, like, trees and mountains and, wash- like, this side or, of Washington has sagebrush and fire. Just to break <laughs> it to you guys, we don't live in Seattle. No. Nope. We live in eastern Washington. Um, Yeah. And it's cool. It's so It's fine. It's really nice It's just here. different than what you first think of, like, sleepless in Seattle. Everyone or- likes to ask, like, if you tell someone that i'm from seattle or washington they're like oh how far from seattle are you and i'm like three and a half hours (laughs) 
I just make it an even four. <laughs> so, <laughs> have you heard of Spokane, Washington? That side. <laughs> we're over there. And we're there. still actually far away from that, too. Two hours. Mm-hmm. So, dead center. But if you're ever in the Tri-Cities, look us up. Yeah! <laughs> so what else do we have on our little timeline? We kind of did rebuttal. It's like, right? What do you think? Oh, what do you think, Krista? About so snakes after I, this? I respect them. I don't want to fuck with them. I'm going to let them exist. I'm going to let nature do run its course. And if I ever have to defend myself from a snake, like, I just know that if I were bitten, to call 911 and get medical assistance immediately. That's it. That's what I think. That's good. That's good thoughts, Krista. Thank you. What I think... I'm not scared about coral snakes, you guys. I live in Washington. Like, <laughs> They're not Sorry, here. South. <laughs> but, you know, when I go visit Texas, I'm going to be like, shoot, what was that rock? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, am, I know coral snakes have shorter heads, and I'm gonna, those little short-headed snakes, I'm going to be like, Mm-mm, not today, snake. Um, I'm pro- I, I don't know. The colors in my head still get all mixed up. I might go ask my dad for a venom kit. Because I don't know why I don't have any in my house. You know, I don't I don't think that's a super weird thing to have at home. It's not weird, but to have many, so many. of them, <laughs> that is weird. But one is good. Let, mm-hmm. Like, I think one. One is good uh, and still call 911. Oh, yeah, for sure. I saw a funny thing on uh, the wiki uh, thing. It was <laughs> like, you can purchase anti-venom kits online. However, you must remember... Snake venom sometimes takes days for, <laughs> for it to Shoot, girl, I'll just person. Amazon Prime that shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to get no. the same Don't day Amazon delivery. Prime, <laughs> although it's a good service. Mm-hmm. You need to go to the hospital. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, also that was my big thing for my little rebuttal. I'm going to the hospital go if I get bit by a snake. I'm probably going to cry and call 911. Mm-hmm. All right. So our conclusion, we're going to have conclusion every yes. week. Yes, yep. We're going to make little weekly goals for ourselves. Yep. And we'll let you guys know at the beginning of the next episode how those goals went. So, Krista, tell me some weekly goals. Oh, man. I got a rough one. I really need (laughs) to do it, though. I need to wake up earlier and take Uh, my dog out and walk him. That's a good one. Yeah. He's not cooped at home all day. Like, I just actually took him to the dog park after I was done Mm -hmm. here. Oh, good. Yeah. So that's nice, but it's still, it's not good for him to just be sleeping all day. No. He seems to be fine with it, but yeah, I need to take him <laughs> I'd out be okay with sleeping all day, but yeah, exactly. it wouldn't be healthy for me. <laughs> yeah, like I'm sure he's like, oh, I sleep and eat and get cuddled by you. This is the life. <laughs> I'm living it, guys. <laughs> yeah. No, I need to take him out in the morning. So that's my weekly goal. That's a good goal. Mm-hmm. Oh, weekly goal. What's your goal for this week? Um, I think I know one, but I won't say it. I kind of want you to. No, maybe not. No. Okay. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm a big girl. I can make my own goals. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to wake up earlier. That I thought of it. I was like, oh, that's a good goal. But no, mm-hmm. that's not my goal. You don't need to do that. <clears throat> you already wake up pretty early. Mm, I... I'm so sorry. I'm drawing a blank. What about like Tell you? What do I, what do I work on? You need to work on some of your art, maybe a little. <gasps> oh, bit. oh my goodness! That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Um. So this Sun, I do henna, henna uh-huh. tattoos, and this Sunday I'm going to design a chest piece for one of my really good friends, mm-hmm. and she's gonna decide if she likes it enough to get it tattooed on her body. So I need to work on you her chest piece. Something you design potentially maybe on someone's body for, for the life. rest of their life like i got Is kind of teary-eyed earlier yeah. yeah i was so like i would you be so like my art well enough to have it tattooed on you for life that's amazing. That is the biggest compliment. It's so, it's like such a big deal, but you can't let it like deter you from doing the best you can. Like, don't be like overwhelmed by that, you know, like, that feeling oh. of like, it's, it's going to be on her forever. Didn't like, think you, about it till now. You still have to deliver. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> it was kind of in the back of my mind, but there's just so many designs I could do, but I'm going to make, I'm going to make it like look like jewelry and it's going to be yes. so gorgeous. Yeah. The inspiration you showed me is going to be like. It's gorgeous. Don't do that verbatim. You know, no, like no. don't. It's got to be my own. Mm-hmm. Like my touch. Put your Alex style in there. Maybe someday you'll be a tattoo artist. 
Mm, no. I wouldn't cancel it off my life plan, but <laughs> it's not... I, I like kind of tattoos because you mess up and you're like, whatever, you gotta deal with this rude. And Seven to ten days. You can do them all the time. Yeah, and it's so, so fun. never get... Yeah, you can just... I do love real tattoos, though. Yeah. We should do a tattoo episode. Episode about tattoos. It's fun. <laughs> so... Also, if... I know this is our first episode, but if we have any listeners that listen to this very first episode, if thank you have you ideas, thank you so much too. And thank you, and um, it's Tell only going to get better. Again. Oh yeah, so we are for one. Our podcast is called the Sense, uh, making sense of things that don't make sense. Yeah, and so sense, you know, it, it's we kind of like to spin it off and make it like things that make sense to me, things that make sense to her. And then let's like let's make it make let's sense it together. Out. Let's yeah. Yeah. So it might just be about that, but also so our email. So it's the sense cast, T H E S E N C E C A S T. That was hard. <laughs> I lost. Track. <laughs> I did it though. Yeah, I was like, wow, <laughs> dang. At gmail dot com. So we're also on Twitter. You can tweet us at the sense cast. I am Krista. And I'm Alex. And thank you so much. This you has been so fun. It's been good. We'll be I back think... next week, guys. We'll be here. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.